Hello, hello. About a month ago, we received a comment from a guy named Philip Chai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but he asked us to make a video on the bike rental system in Seoul. And for those that don't know, it's called the Daringi. And anybody, including tourists, can rent them for like one or two hours or whatever. So we'll show you how to do that. And we'll also take you on a tour through Southern Seoul that we think would be really fun for a lot of tourists to check out. So it takes us about 50 minutes to get to Chamshil where we're gonna start. And we'll also put in the description kind of the whole tour map that you can check out. So let's go over to Chamshil. We decided to be as budget friendly as we can to show what you can expect when you're on a tight budget. Also, we're saving for our next cycle tour in April right now, so we needed to be as frugal as possible. Oh, coffee selection. This is the luxurious coffee available at all the subway stations. Just a half minute here. <laughs> <laughs> might run into a situation where you got a little bit of a hangover and there's a ton of hangover drinks that are like 5,000 won each. I don't really think they work that well. So just grab one of these guys, Pacos F, and you're good to go. Head out exit one of Chamshu station and take a left and you'll find a massive Daringi rental station. This is the start of the tour. All right, so this is what the rental area looks like. You just download the Seoul bike app, I think, in English. In Korean, it's called Daringi. And you can make an account even as a tourist. You don't need a Korean ID or anything. You can have the option to rent for one hour or two hours. But even if you just get one hour, you can use that one hour pass as many times as you want in 24 hours. So you can just keep renting it, returning it, renting it, returning it as much as you want, just for $1. Oh, there's also these kind of rental areas all around Seoul, and inside the app, it actually shows them all. It doesn't matter where you are, you'll be like within 500 meters of one of these things for sure. Oh. 나는 이 자전거를 선택할 거야. 그럼 여기 뒤에 QR 코드가 있잖아. 이거를 골랐는데 아. 고장이네. 아까 걸로 돌아가야겠다. 어, 이거 괜찮거든? 이렇게 찍고 이제 연결이 된 거야. 이렇게. 해제가 됐고 지금부터 한 시간 시작. 这是第一个点。如果你们从东京到达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达达
We then headed west until Seoul Olympic Stadium. The sidewalk is pretty wide and there's a bike path on it, so we recommend staying on the bike path just to make the journey nice and relaxing. the Seoul Olympics, babe. 88. That was the time when Korea really revolutionized into a developed country. Before the 88 Olympics, things were a little more chaotic because it was still developing. But Korea put in a lot of effort to really make it nice for the Olympics. So the 88 Olympics were super important. The biggest event we had. The next stop is Apgujung Rodeo. But before we get there, we renew the bikes again. And now we get to bike on the smooth Han River bike path again. We arrived at Apkujung Rodeo. It's the super ritzy, fancy area with all these cafes and all that kind of stuff. You knew we weren't gonna do that though. Convenience store is the way to go anyways. Round the five. As far as I remember. You definitely don't have to stop at Apgujung Rodeo, but it's good to go through the graffiti tunnel to renew the bike, just so you don't feel rushed by the time you get to Pampo Degyo. So the next stop here, it's called the Pampo Degyo, and it's a bridge with a nice park right next to the Hangang. So we found a picnic table here, and Eugene's just gonna eat something to get some energy. Just taking some Instagram photos now. Work hard, eat hard. <laughs> <laughs> what you got there? Chimchi mayo. And OJ. So it's like this kind of feeling. It's like does the job. The next stop is Noryangjin, but we need to renew our bikes first. If you follow Pampo Degyo south, you will find a ramp that goes into the city. Continue biking on the sidewalk on the east side of the bridge to find another Darengi station to renew the bikes another time. So the only unfortunate thing about riding the Darengi is the rental stations aren't right on the Han River, so you kind of have to like detour a little bit from the Han to just to return the bike and rent it again. So it's not super convenient riding on the Han River. <laughs> Maybe getting a two hour pass is better. Just spend the extra a thousand won, but we already did the 1000, so we're gonna stick with it. Right after the Pampo Degyo, on the west side, there's like a bike freeway. I've never seen this before. There's four lanes total, two on each side. So there's a passing lane for both sides. That's pretty cool. We accidentally got distracted here by the beautiful Hangang Cholgyo. You actually need to take a U-turn before here to get to Noryangjin. <laughs> Alright, 
made it back to Noryangjin. We're gonna get some snacks and maybe a beer or two here. Our goal is to go to Yoi though, but the convenience stores there are more expensive. So we might as well go here to the one of the cheapest areas in Seoul. Got some tukping and almond brews. Banana. So I got the cheapest beer in Korea, 1,350. And these nacho chips for 1,000. You can either turn back and take the Han River path or ride through the city to get to Yoido Han River Park. It's a nicer ride on the Han obviously, but you might as well get a little bit more city sightseeing in before the end of the ride. But after Noryangjin, it got harder. I'm exhausted right now because starting is not meant for like longer biking. But we kept riding for six hours, five, six, six hours in a row. So that was exhausted. Not bad, like these bikes are not very good for taller people. I'm not even that tall, I'm like five foot 10 or so. So like 180 centimeters. And my legs are just too long for this. So my knees are like fully bent the whole time. So that's the only unfortunate part. But I think like even for Eugene, I think these bikes still aren't optimized for like long distance cycling. But I think if you were a tourist in this scenario, without filming or anything and you were just biking and like relaxing and stuff I think you could pull it off without it being too bad but if you're not in super good shape you could probably start at like Apkujong probably and come here cut it off maybe like 30% and then you still end up at Yoido and you have a good spot to eat dinner outside so mm -hmm. 따릉이를 고를 때 팁이 있는데 안장을 조절하는 게 조금 다르게 돼 있어서 요요 요 레버가 있는 걸로 하면 훨씬 쉽다는 거 이거보다 더 쉽다는 거 Let's go get some food! <웃음> 오! 야 네, 이거 좋아! What the hell? 여기 원래 미니 스톱 있었는데 It's gone! Well. Originally, we were gonna get a jipai there, which is like a little fried chicken thing for like 3,000 won, but uh, looks like we can splurge a little bit and Ooh. get some chicken delivery instead. Can help? <laughs> we can help it all. Thank you. Thank you. What? We got our chicken. Oh, chicken. Let's go eat you this. Oh. found some picnic tables over there so we're gonna go celebrate the finale of this intense cycle tour on the Daringi bikes we oh yeah, had the golden nuggets for finishing the challenge today good job so ready now Dip it. <laughs> Probably amazing after a long day, eh? Mm. <laughs> All finished biking too, so you can finally have a beer. Might explode. Oh, it's kind of fake beer, so it doesn't explode, but cheers. Yeah. 
tastes so good right now. <laughs>